So in this video, we answer this uh, second question. Determine the order of the direct sum z by c plus z by the, the set generated by 4, 2. And the question is, is this a uh, is this group uh, cyclic? Okay. So in the previous video we saw that um, the, the the factor group Z by NZ is isomorphic to ZN. You can check the previous uh, video for this. So this will be our first guess. The division uh, group z by 4z because this is this one is 4 direct sum with z by 2z so I say that in this case the order will be 8 now is that true that the order will be 8 well looking at the set generated by 4 2 we will get 4 2 4 plus 4, 8, 2 plus 2, 4, 8 plus 4, 12, etc. Okay, so this will be this set generated by elements in this uh, form 4n, 2n, with n in the integers. So, some elements, a sample of elements of the direct sum z with z by the set generated by these elements would be for instance 0 0 0 0 plus the, the set generated by these elements 1 0 plus the set generated by these elements etc. All these elements of this group are distinct. So in general the element n0 plus the set generated by 42 is different from <coughs> this set, the set generated by m0 plus the set generated by 42 as long as n is not m. Okay? Um, I made a quick note here, this might help some people that remember these things about the left cosets and the, um, that if a h equals b h if and only if the inverse of a times b is in h and this will not happen here if n is different from m okay okay anyway we have an infinite number of distinct cosets okay so the order of the direct sum z plus z by the set generated by 42 will be infinite okay the the order will be infinite okay let us erase everything and go back to our question so since the order we already know that the order of the group is infinite so the question is, is the group cyclic? If it were cyclic, every non-identity element would have infinite order. So since every element would have infinite order, let's look at a elements in the direct sum. So we are going to get AB, an element in the direct sum of C plus C. But we are going to pick an element that is here in the direct sum, but not in this set. Okay, so uh, we need an element like this to have a b plus this set generated by uh, four two, and we 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 want to see if we have such an element of finite order. So let us see, I say that the quickest order to work with is order 2. So let us try to find an element of order 2. This is really small and quick. 
Okay, so we are trying to find an element of order 2. We have a, b in the direct sum, but not in this set, in the set generated by this element. So we need a, b plus the set generated, plus a, b equals the set generated, would be equal to 0, 0. So if this happens, uh, this element will have order 2. Or, in other words, such that 2 times AB, that's what is happening here, AB plus AB, 2 times AB plus 4, 2 equals the identity plus 4, 2. So, this element would have order 2. So, basically, what we need is AB in the direct sum and not in the set generated by 4, 2, such that 2A, 2B are in this set or in the set generated by this element imagine for instance that a is 2 and b is 1 so 2 1 it looks like it will work because 2 times 2 1 plus the set generated by 4 2 will be 2 times 2 4 2 times 1 2 that's 4, 2, but 4, 2 is an element of this set, so that will be 4, 2, okay, and this one would be of order 2. So I think this is done now, right? Because I, I wrote it here in a different way. This might be confusing for some that are not uh, used to this notation, but uh, 2, 1 times 2, 1, you will get 4, 2, as I, I showed, and would be 0, 0 plus 4, 2, so this, at the end of the day, this would be equal to, to this, okay? So basically, we just found an element of order 2 in the division group, okay? So if we have an element of order 2 in the division group, and the group is of infinite order, this group is not cyclic.